Oh, hello. My name is Annette Gapis Clark, and I am one of your fabulous librarians here at Ohlone College. Now, have you ever wondered what the difference is between a general database versus a subject specific database? Well, let's find out. General versus subject specific databases. Let's get into it. Now, what is a general database? A general database is a collection of research materials that cross multiple disciplines, aka subjects. You're going to find articles on sociology mixed in with your articles on psychology, with a nursing article, with a communication article, so on and so forth. You get the picture. A general database is also a great place to start your research because of this. You are getting a cross section of everything that is covered through your topic. In a general database, you're going to get a well-rounded outlook about your topic. While you are getting a ton of information, it's also a ton of material to search through. But that's okay. You're refining your search and you're going to take it to the subject-specific database. Now, what is a subject-specific database? It's a collection of research materials dedicated to one discipline or subject. It's where to go when you want to conduct a deep dive into a specific aspect of your topic. Now, a subject-specific database is not as large as a general database, but it's more curated. So if you're going to an environmental database, then all your results are going to be based around that one subject. Happy searching, and I hope that clears it up. I hope that cleared up the explanation between a general database and a subject specific database. Now, if you have any other questions or need support of any kind, please come to the library. There's one on the Newark campus in the Learning Resource Center and one on the Fremont campus in the third building on the fifth floor. We are happy to help. All right, now I'm going to get back to some light reading. Ah.